Okay, so uh, where are we going again, Took? Gee, you never remember anything. Okay, we're going over here to the cave that tells the story on the wall. Hey, I remember. You don't have to get sore about it. So, what story does it tell, eh? <sighs> the one about the bear who said he wasn't a bear. Oh, yeah. I know that one like the back of my hoof. So, how does it start again? All right, in his totem ceremony, the human called Kenai got the bear as his totem. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. And the shaman told him that bear equals love. But he thought that was silly, eh, because he wanted the totem of the moose, right? Yeah. No, no, no you hoofer, because he wanted to be like a saber-toothed tiger. Anyway, if you don't mind, I'm going to continue the story. Kenai went off by himself and got into a... Then his brothers, Sitka and Danahi, came to the rescue. So, would you rescue me? Huh. <laughs> You'd have to rescue me, because I'm more like the tasty looking one. Yeah, tasty like rotten fish, eh? <laughs> hey, that's not funny. Bears like rotten fish. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot, eh? Sorry. Okay, go ahead anyway, eh? Go ahead. So anyway, his older brother Sitka held off the bear, but then the ice cracked and both Sitka... Well, now you ready? Hold on, give me a second. Part. The bear was the oh, only okay, one who came back out this again. This is a sad story, eh? Not if you're a bear, eh? Oh, yeah. Right. So, is that it? What? No, no, no! Then Kenai went Did hunting for the bear to avenge his brother. The bear was Kenai's spirit found totem, him. and they fought. The spirits got involved. Uh, okay, the spirit of Sitka, he's the eldest Ooh, brother, came down and transformed hey, Kenai into a hope bear. hope you like being a bear too, eh? If not, maybe we could make him a moose. Hey, don't go giving away our parts. All right. Later, eh? Yeah, we'll see you, eh? Okay, remember how we first met that bear and how he caused that big avalanche? Oh yeah, that was real scary, eh? place where the light touches the earth. Hey, I know that place. It's right by the salmon run. That's where I'm going. Come on, we can go together. Hmm. Okay. As soon as we get there, you're on your own, kid. Oh, my name's not kid, it's Koda. Koda. Right, kid. Let's get going then. I don't have all day. This is gonna be fun. I just know it. Hey, Kenai, you want me to sing? No. Or the left mouse button, then the path will be nice. 
nice and clear. this time of year. Come on, go get that pine cone, can I? We definitely need it. My mom says they're very rare. these things. They're nasty. We gotta be real careful that we don't touch them. They'll make you itch like crazy. Trust me on this one. Uh-oh. Looks like you touched one. Good thing these acorns will make you feel better. If you ever touch an itchy shrub again, just look for these acorns and they'll help you stop itching. Go on, try some. <laughs> Oh, wouldn't you know it? It's those itchy shrubs again. There's a lot more of them this time. Come on, let's find another way. Makina, we have to go this way. Okay then, let's get this over with. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Now I'm really super itchy. Hey look, there's a pool full of fish. Mom says they'll make us feel even better than those acorns. Just run over them to grab them. Let's go, Kina. I gotta stop itching. Ah. might come in handy later. Antlers make my head look real big. Good, eh? I wish I had more teeth, eh? I'd be able to eat faster. Come on, Kina, this is fun. 
Spirit is the symbol of togetherness for friends young and old. These fellows can be a bit jumpy sometimes, if you know what I mean. But the spirit of the deer is special because it is smart, witty, and always alert. Make it up there. On these things, my mom used to let me bounce on them while she was looking for food. It's really fun. Right. Bounce on a branch. A and I suppose you can tell me how that works? Of course. All you gotta do is walk out to the end of that branch, hit the control key or right mouse button, and you'll fly up and onto the other side. Yahoo! -y! Hey, that does sound like fun. Wait till you try it. And Kenai, the best part is you can do it whenever you see a bouncy branch.
sacred spirit stone right over there. Do you think we... Chipmunk is very good at collecting things that you might need later, and picks up everything in sight. You should see what the ones living in my cave have gathered. <laughs> but even though the spirit of the chipmunk is sometimes cautious about new things, this totem is always curious and full of wonder. This is the right way? Um, yeah, I think so. Uh-huh, yes, yes it is. What's that? What? That? That's one of those mystical totems. Don't tell me. Come on, what are we waiting for? We gotta go see if we can get up there. Ooh, my favorite, orange berries. We'll have to eat a lot of these so we can use that eagle totem up there. I suppose you need me to tell you how to eat berries too? Just push the action or left mouse button, then walk over them. What would you do without me? Oh, and we're gonna need a whole tummy full of orange berries to make the eagle totem work. Here, you do it. Then we'll go try out that totem. You gotta remember, whenever you see the eagle totem, make sure you have a belly full of orange berries or else you can't use it. size and you wouldn't stand a chance <laughs> that's what you think i was the fastest cub in the bramble races last year just ask anyone at the salmon run hey guys how about starting us off on a race to the top of the mountain not now eh? i'm resting my antlers these things are heavy hey smallish bear i'll do it eh ready set get more set <laughs> just kidding eh? go
great. You're pretty fast, Kenai. Hey, look. Another totem. What does this one do? Oh, that's a little thing I like to call the Golden Bear Totem. They'll make you roar really scary and terrify any hunters nearby. We can only use them when there's a hunter. Got it? Right. Okay, I got it. The hunter is chasing After us! <gasps> uh, Kenai, now would be a really good time to use that totem. Hey, quit jabbering. Let's get out of here, eh? No kidding, eh? Let's go. You don't gotta tell me twice. <laughs>